I so understand. I get it. Yeah. Don't f with my kids. This is not okay. They didn't sign up for this. Yeah, it's sad. It's hard. It's they have so to... hard. I know. I know. It's and hard. I just, I... But you're going to get through. You, you got it. You got it now. Drew Barrymore in tears talking about our kids with Pamela Anderson. I just spend every waking moment with them. I wake up with them. I go to sleep with them. I have my weekends with them. Pam joins the Drew Barrymore show for a candid conversation about her memoir and Netflix documentary and the two 90s icons bond over doing the most to protect their children. I mean, he's such a great kid and so creative. Pam shares two sons, Brandon and Dylan, with her ex-husband, Tommy Lee, while Drew has two daughters, Olive and Frankie, with her ex, Will Kopelman. The one thing I try to nail is that if my kids come first, no matter what hot mess it is, it'll, it'll be okay, because the kids came first. When I had my kids, it was like, that changed everything. Right. Well, the things you won't do for yourself, you do for your kids. And are we protecting our children the way that we never got to have that protection? Right, definitely, definitely. I hired, I hired, um, it's funny, my kids didn't know they had a security guard at school. I hired someone to be an assistant PE instructor yes. just to be there because people were trying to take them off the schoolyard. I had to find clever ways to kind of make them feel everything was normal, but I needed to know eyes were on them and not, you know, and I was not gonna take that chance. That's when the actress breaks down. I so understand, I get it. Yeah. Don't f with my kids. This is not okay. They didn't sign up for this. Yeah, it's sad, it's hard. It's, like, they it's have so to... hard. I know, I know it's and hard. I just, I... But you're gonna get through, you, you got it, you got it now. But Drew says she relates with Pam in more ways than motherhood. There's so many parallels I, I know, feel with I you. In the Baywatch alum's new documentary, the activist gets real about heartbreak and the difficulty of finding love after her split from Tommy in 1995. I think what it all comes down to is that I never got over not being able to make it work with the father of my kids. And even though I thought I could recreate a family or fall in love with somebody else. It's just not me. So I think that's probably why I keep failing in all my relationships. Seems like she's still in love with him. She will say he's the love of her life. And no, she's very respectful. Tommy's married and a very happy marriage, and she's very respectful of that marriage. But the thing I love about Pamela, she is a hopeless romantic through and through. That's why our film is called Pamela Love Story. No matter how many times it doesn't work out for her, she's going to continue looking for romantic love. That's hard, isn't it? It's, and like he's... A it's just that connection that you don't have with anybody else. And people may say that they can get past it, but I can't. I haven't been able to, and that's okay. I don't even care if I'm alone the rest of my life. I've experienced really wonderful, loving moments, and sometimes things don't last forever for a reason, and it's, it's okay, it's fine. It's okay, and the last year I spent alone, I think it's been the happiest year of my life. And with the success of her doc, fans are petitioning for Pam to join the cast of White Lotus season three, possibly as the sister of Jennifer Coolidge's character, Tanya. Two macaroons. Yeah, great. I really did only eat three. Pam admits she hasn't watched the series, but would she be down? I just want to push myself, so I think that would be an incredible challenge. Pam and Drew's full chat airs Friday.